<laughs> Alright, welcome back. Mary, I already said that. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I don't remember. What have I gotten myself into? Now I can't remember already after one shot of whiskey? Oh, no! Oh, shit. We all knock back the shots. I almost choke on the whiskey as it burns down my throat. What, is whiskey spicy? No, it just kind of, like, is really, really, like, strong. harsh. Yeah, it's strong. Holy hell, that was a kick. I look over Robert and Mary, who seem like old pros at this. Robert grabs his jacket and throws it on. Oh, now it's uh, real business. Let's go marching. Marching? What? Uh, the night's young, Chief. Come on, we're bar hopping. Oh. All right. We leave the bar and start walking down the street. I still don't know this, I don't know this area of town really well, so I just follow Robert. So where are we headed? Hey. I wish I were drinking. It's an Irish pub. God damn it. A good pun is the whiskey to my heart. <laughs> Come on. I, I, I bet Mary didn't really like that one. Puns are the lowest form of humor. Jump here. Try harder. Fuck you. I'm a dad. You're not a dad. <laughs> I'm a dad. <laughs> Ouch. Am I going to be the butt of the joke all night? Huh. Jesus, Mary. Put your fangs away for a second. We walk into I wish I were drink. <laughs> the bar is pretty much the same as Jimmy Kim's except for the old timey Irish memorabilia on the wall. Next round, what are you having? That uh, whiskey hasn't failed me yet. Let's do it. Robert orders three more glasses of whiskey and we post up in a garlic green booth. Mary slides in and slides up next to Robert, which makes me breathe a sigh of relief. Mm. Let's sit this one, why don't we? Mm. Suit yourself. Mary immediately downs her shot in one gulp. <laughs> She's not slowly. wasting any time. Uh, <laughs> she has problems. She has to work out. Oh, man. Hey. <laughs> That'll put hair in your chest. Is that what you want? <laughs> I hope not. I'm not sure if that's what you want. You are truly the paragon of grace and beauty. I don't, this is going to be a weird love quadrangle. Like, <laughs> quadrangle. Him and, her, him and me, and then him and Joseph, and then her and Joseph, and then her and me. is. I don't know. Blah. It's too much. Yeah. Mary grabs my drink and just starts sipping on it. She grabs my drink, but that's my drink. It's your drink. I mean, yeah. he bought the drinks, but it's my yeah, stuff. Yeah, she just doesn't care. Mm. Hey! Mm. <laughs> Polar F, be a deer and get us another round, will you? Fuck you! You're drinking my drink. You buy that shit. You waste your own money. Hey. I don't know how to process this evening at all. I get up and order another round of drinks from the bartender. As I head back and see Mary and Robert having a lively conversation, Robert roars with laughter. I don't think I've ever seen the guy smile, let alone laugh. I'll look at him smiling. Just like, smile's really cute. <laughs> I take a seat across the booth from then and pass out the drinks. So E, this kid stuck, no, no, snuck some pop brownies onto the table at the last bake sale, right? And I spot that little hemp sweatshirted gremlin in the act, so I go up to Edith, and without the baggie, I'm all about to tell her when all of a sudden she just freaks out at me. You're ruining the bake sale, she says. Should have been PTA president. Your roots are bad, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, I would have been, uh, you're ruining the bake sale by taking away my pop brownies. Mm. So what'd you do? I told her I have a brownie and that everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, fucked. <laughs> they both erupt in laughter. <laughs> I politely follow along with the story. She ate three. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That does not sound good. Uh, That's bad. You know, in Latin class, when, when our class would do something uh, really stupid, you know, well, there was one time where our teacher said, you know, let's, let's, let's go over something. You know, let's talk about a few things and consider if it's a bona idea or mala idea. <laughs> and this is definitely mala idea. Oh yeah. More <laughs> laughter. Okay, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> She called the cops and told them that time had stopped. Time stopped. Zawardo. <laughs> A little did they know the Edith's kid was Dio Brandon. But it was me, Dio. King. <laughs> Even this kid is a 100-year-old vampire. What's that? Ugh. I have to go stop him. Mary looks directly at me. Did you know this is her kid? Do you smoke weed? What? Uh. You know, the devil's lettuce. I... Mm. I have two big fat butts in my purse right now. I want to blaze. Uh, this is a Christian server. I am a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> you with the fancy cigar. Okay, yeah, that works too. Yeah, he's, he's a wholesome, a wholesome Robert. Thank you. I know. Yeah, but we're not in Massachusetts Shire, okay? Massachusetts <laughs> edit that. Then I am a super law-abiding citizen. Wholesome Polnareff. 
Robert giggles helplessly. Hey. I'm just kidding, cowboy. No, you're not. And I'm not the cowboy. Or am I? I thought you were calling me a sailor man earlier. Mm -hmm. Lay off the kid, Mary. You might not be used to your usual brand of humor. And you're not even funny, though. <laughs> well, they're being, they're very sarcastic. Fine, fine. I, I don't know. With the amount that she drinks, I'm not sure if she mm. is that sarcastic. Huh? A lot of it is. We sit around to sip our drinks, people watching and cracking jokes. After a little bit of time, I begin to warm up to Mary. Her jokes become much funnier and less scary. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. She's just messing yeah, with you. She's still a bitch, though. <laughs> but it seems like she's not going anywhere anytime soon. I just wanted some alone time with Robert. I wonder if I can get her to leave somehow. I just want Robert! That's all I That's all I want. Isn't Joseph wondering where you are? Uh, Lots of eligible bachelors one. are around here, huh? Did you get the next round? This I is the probably the worst option. That's definitely the worst option. You do not want to question it. Because he's friends with her, so if you say something like that she doesn't like, then he gets really mad, too. Um, I think the best one is, could you get next round? I just want some more drinks. You trying to ditch me, pal? I... no. Because if you're trying to ditch me, you can just tell me to scram. I, I just love Robert. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Polnareff wants alone time with his new best buddy, Robert. <laughs> Reggie loud and clear. Wingman breaks formation to pursue their prey. Hmm. Now, if you fellas excuse me, Mary needs to sink her teeth into a helpless boy. Oh my gosh. She, she is. is Dio. She is oh Dio. She is Dio. She is Dio. I have to kill her. <laughs> Go with God. Go with God. Nice seeing you. Ugh. Deuces, nerds. Nerds? Who a, nerds. Woman, a woman like that would not call another man a nerd. I guarantee yeah, you. Yeah, because she's fucking with us. Nah, nah she, would, she would be a lot more eloquent with her words. Uh, <laughs> she's oh. getting drunker, don't forget. That's true, yeah. Maybe she gets up and saunters over to her younger looking guy at the bar. Poor, poor fellow. Poor man. <laughs> she goes on you. Robert, pour one out for the poor man that she uh, she's uh, on to next. <laughs> does she, does she though? I feel like she kind of delights in making men suffer. Just super happy pulling her up talking <laughs> about this. Oh. Well, she does. But what about her and Joseph? I just want to say Joestar. <laughs> <laughs> what about him? You know, they're married, and she definitely tried to get in my pants the other night, and I gestured to her across the bar where she's making goo-goo eyes with that young guy from before. It looks like he's being held hostage. Hey. Oh, that's just, just a thing she does. She's harmless. What does Joseph think? Does he even know? Oh, Tell that knows. to the boys he's hanging off of. Oh, poor kid looks like he's seen more. I'm worried for Joseph. Oh man. Mm. He probably like understands it, but like just like is a bitch or something. Oh man, Joseph, just, just, oh, I'm gonna be sad when we get to Joseph. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna feel bad for him. Robert lets out a hearty laugh. Hey, I got him to laugh! <laughs> That's bonus points. Huh. Oh man, you know I pegged you for one of those straight lace types. Oh, don't worry. I got pretty wild back in my day. <laughs> oh, my day. Those the crosswords. And, the, and those crosswords in the 80s, man. I played crosswords with vampires. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking cool. Mm. Still got a little wild in you? I have a child I need to care no. for. You know it. There's so much wild in me. Yeah. You know it. Or but the I have first a child. Two. No, don't say the child because it ends the date immediately when there's more. Oh, okay. <laughs> Howard orders a couple more rounds of shots at golf. What am I getting myself into? <laughs> they can go shot for shot? I don't know. This guy looks pretty good at shotting drinks. Also, wasn't his tattoo on the other hand? No, it's on his that hand. Left? Left hand, yeah. I swear I saw it flipped. No, because he's always been in that stance. Or I, just I just don't remember very well, I guess. There's only Look, man, you've been drinking so much, I don't remember <laughs> anything. There's only one way to look cool here. I grab the shot closest to me and I down it. Robert looks impressed. He takes his shot and knocks it back. Mm, that's one. Oh, man. So, what do I even talk about? He's so cool. He probably hates small talk. I like how he's like all this like bar stuff and like... He does hate fucking, small talk. No, and like Polnareff is just like this nerdy guy. Is that a Led Zeppelin reference I see? Maybe. With that thing. Maybe. That would be fucking awesome. I wouldn't be surprised because Dan is into that stuff. Definitely could be. That would be cool. I love Zeppelin. Uh, so how are things? He's just like a dorky dad, he like is. with this like guy. Hey, I hate small talk. I'm fine. Are we just gonna fuck or what then? <laughs> really that's what you want from me. I can no. see. I can see that look in your eyes. No, he but... just wants. He wants to have more fun. 
Yeah, what, yeah, drinking? Okay, we can drink more. Okay. Oh? Too many people, and this isn't necessarily you, but too many people think that they have to fill the dead air with noise. Personally, I think they're afraid of silence, or they're afraid of what other person's gonna think of the silence. I think that's a very human thing. Like, it's not a too many people, you guys are all idiots for feeling that way. I think that's what everyone feels, really. Pretty much, but, and like, if you can get comfortable with silence, it's just so much more, like, I was, about to, I was about to say, Robert clearly has been able to get over that. Yeah. That human instinct. So, that's... There's a lot of good messages in this game. This is, yeah. this is it's real shit, you know? It's some real shit. It's real shit. Oh. Hey. If you want some un unsolicited advice, just learn to be comfortable with silence. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I was trying to like, dude, like, there you go, but I, 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 I went a little bit too high up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with two people sitting in silence and drinking whiskey. Just like bros. Bro. I, think he, uh, I was about to say, he might like... Craig just burst and cake stand Craig! Craig, 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 Craig. <laughs> nah, like, I think the Craig of now wouldn't be a huge... I, I, he would get along with Robert, but I don't know if they would go drinking together. Oh, no, they wouldn't. No, but, like, I think they would still get along. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Hey. Robert and I sit in silence and drink whiskey. I take in the rest of the bar. Patrons laughing, playing darts, spilling beer, many giving the hard sell to that young man. The young man pretending that he got a phone call from his friends, huh? Maybe silence is nice sometimes. So, you ever kill a man? Many. I had to travel through many different lands, <laughs> killing a many stand users. Oh, I didn't even think of that. I choke on my drink. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. You know, watch the, uh, the life drain from someone's eyes. It's just not their life, you know? It's their hopes and dreams draining away every memory, every experience they've ever had. Gone. That's metal as fuck. It's I like pretty that. pretty fucking metal. Uh, no. Oh. Great me neither. <laughs> this fucking guy. I know. I <laughs> love just, it. He just pulls that shit out. I love it so much. Robert knocks back his shot and motions for me to do the same. I reciprocate. Mm -hmm. I'm just messing with you. Relax. Oh, he's, he's a fun dude. Yeah. I laugh nervously. <laughs> or am I? You pulling that shit again? I've seen this before. At the fucking, at the barbecue. I laugh nervously again. <laughs> We sip more whiskey and people watch some more. Mary has their sights set on another man uh, after the one excused himself in the bathroom and I assume crawled out the window. Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. Gosh, this whiskey's hitting me hard. <laughs> he thinks it and then says it. You betcha. Robert gets up out of the booth, shouldering his jacket. Mm. Let's roll. Uh, is oh. he a motorcycle man? Sorry, whiskey. Inside voices. Oh. Let's roll. Let's roll. Wait, what about Mary? Oh. Brother, Mary's gonna be just fine. I look over at Mary, who's lying on the bar in front of some poor sap. She's singing happy birthday to him while she insists that it's not... While he insists that it's not his birthday. <laughs> Alright, we make our way out of the bar and back onto the street. I'm trying my hardest not to stumble, but man, the sidewalk is coming right at me. I hope Robert doesn't notice me tripping over my own feet like this is the first time I've ever been drunk. Where to, man? Mm. You'll see. Follow Robert to Street Lamp Spotlights till we eventually ride at a rundown strip mall. There's a beauty salon, a sex shop, a computer repair store that looks like it's been closed for 10 years, and finally a liquor store. So I wonder where we're going. <laughs> I. Wait here, I'll be right back. After a minute, Robert returns with two wine bottles and brown paper bags. He hands one to me. Cheers. He sits on the curb and drinks. He motions for me to do the same. This is really not where I expected the night to go. Are you okay? You seem to drink a lot. <laughs> Is everything good, man? He does. I take a sip. He has reason. Where's Zinfandel? Oh, oh, white. I thought that said where. Where's Zinfandel? Where is it? I don't know. It's on the map. Okay, white, white Zinfandel. What? Nothing. I just wasn't expecting. It is delicious, fruity, and refreshing. Don't judge me. Hey, I'm not judging, man. You're the one talking about killing people with your like weird. Uh, circle thing tattoo <laughs> target on your hand start to say something think of his lecture about valuing science earlier and stop I sip on my wine and watch cars drive by uh -huh. let's throw rocks at shit okay let's throw rocks <laughs> Robert suddenly hurls a rock at a stop sign the ding echoes throughout the empty parking lot mm -hmm. that felt good okay he presses a stone into my free hand now you try uh I don't know with feeling I look at the rock on my hand, I look at the stop sign. Back at the rock. Back at the stop sign. I know what has to be done. I got a problem with authority! <laughs> That's what Amanda yelled earlier, too. <laughs> I got a problem with authority! 
I hurl a rock at the sign. <laughs> oh man, he loves it. He thinks it's cute. <laughs> it sails over the stop sign, right at the window of the parked car, leaving a crack. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't care. And I assume if it was what well, this one's for you, Pappy, I would have gotten some eggplants. Oh yeah, I think so. Huh? Dude, run. Oh shit! I leap up and dart to the nearest alley, wine in hand. I can hear Robert's footsteps behind me. After I'm sure I'm far enough away from the cracked window that I'm no longer uh, culpable for this hideous crime. Heinous. <sighs> it's it's pretty ugly I, too, I, though. It's, I, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> this heinous crime, I stopped to catch my breath. <sighs> Maybe we strike rock throwing from the to-do list. That was a bad idea. Agreed. Suddenly my stomach growls. Oh man, I am starving. Uh, let's get pizza. I can't argue with that. Where's, where's good around here? Actually, I don't even care what's good. It just needs to be edible and in my mouth in the next five minutes. I'm not sure if it's pizza that's going to be in his mouth. <laughs> I know just the place. <laughs> like, I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> I follow Robert through a maze of alleys and side streets until we eventually end up in a tiny hole-in-the-wall pizza joint. Oh. The bright red neon sign reads, Pete's Pizza Pizza! Ta-da! Okay. I can see a few exhausted looking workers behind the counter tossing dough and pulling piping hot pizzas out of the stone ovens. My stomach grumbles again. Oh, I feel bad for them. I don't want to order from them. They had probably had a long day. Just, you know, like, how about we buy, how about we make the pizza for you? As if we haven't done that to, like, so many fast food workers I, in our I, lifetime. I, yeah, we, we really have. <laughs> but, I don't know. I'm not giving them a hard time. I'm just like, just, you know, I got, if you messed it up, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as it wasn't horrendous. If anything, I mess things up more because I end up dropping the food half the time. <laughs> not luck. I'm not trying. We go up to the counter and get ready to order. Oh. Can I get two slices of Hawaiian pizza? Oh wait, Polar Ref, you're cool with pineapple and pizza, right? I saw this joke. Like when he, when I saw the word Hawaiian, I'm like, okay, they're going with this joke, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why people get. Okay, here's my here's my stance on <laughs> Hawaiian pizza. I tried it. I don't hate it, I don't prefer it, but okay. I can respect those who enjoy it. I understand. And after trying it myself, I mean, you know what, this isn't awful, but I'm not a huge fan of it because that sweet contrast is a little bit strong. Yeah, I understand that. I It's my favorite out of the, like, default options that they have, like, in the just pre-made ones. Yeah. But, like, if I had my own pizza, I don't get pineapple on it whatsoever. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fair. But uh, some people... They will get very vehement about uh, pineapple. Oh, pizza. I know, I know. I don't understand why. That's anyway, such a hot topic. I'm really, to say yes, just so you know. <laughs> I'd imagine. Well, if I say this, he's gonna fucking hate me. Yeah. We wait a minute for our pizza to come out of the oven. I'm practically drooling at the smell. I like how his face turned into like more of a frown, and then the hearts came out. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> The cashier hands us a giant slice on paper plate. It's so saturated with grease that I'm worried it will fall apart. We take our pizzas outside and wander through the alleyways as, as they eat. That being said, sometimes a pizza pizza, they'll give you a slice and it's not even cut. You're it's, right. It's just a huge chunk. Or it's cut at such an angle that it's such a terrible shape. Like you have the pizza and then instead of being down the middle, it's like this. Oh. It's terrible. And there was a, actually, there's this place at school where um, you can actually just go grab the slice and cut it yourself. So I tried doing it, I'm like, you know what? It's really not hard to be accurate. Yeah, it's That being not. said, you just gotta make sure you get it hard enough so you don't have to go back and forth and cut it into multiple yeah. pieces. But being accurate down the middle is really not hard at It's really all. not, yeah. It basically guides itself. Pretty much. I don't understand how you can mess it up unless you just go, like, <laughs> really quickly. I take a bite. It's absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Pineapple is truly the best pizza topping. Controversial opinion, 2016. Mm. You said it. Not me. Yeah, yeah not me. <laughs> don't get me involved in that shit. <laughs> Man, I, I don't need the internet. <laughs> I feel way better now. Mm -hmm. You and me both. We hear noise coming out of a slightly ajar door in the alley. Robert looks at me excitedly. Oh, boy. Mm. Got any more of that wild in you? I love my daughter, and I should go home and make sure that she's alright, you betcha. Good on ya. I can tell, like, I gotta, I gotta continue with him. Yeah, you got it. most of the day. Fun. But, if you push this too far, I think you can die. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, Robert and I slide the door open and peek inside. It's completely dark except for some flickering light. We slowly creep forward, cautious not to be heard or seen. It's a movie theater? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Don't shush me so loud! <laughs> Shh! 
<laughs> we come to the end of a hallway and find ourselves standing in front of a movie screen. Oh, this suddenly makes sense. Do we really just sneak into a movie theater like a couple of teenagers? No talking during the movie. We look into the audience and are surprised to find that it's almost completely empty, save for a row of a few teenagers in the front. They look annoyed when they notice us. Robert starts making his way to the very back of the theater and I follow him. We settle in with our wines and try to make sense of this movie. It's a romantic comedy, I think. A young man's frantically trying to get through New York to find the woman that he's finally realized he's in love with. Kiss already. Is he that guy? Yeah. He's that guy? Ah, oh, come on, Robert. He's really being that guy right now. Mm -hmm. There's nobody to kiss yet. You want him to kiss the taxi driver? Hell yeah. Oh, I'm not surprised that he feels that way. I can imagine that's what he would say. The kids uh, down the way notice this heckling. One of them speaks up. This fucking... <laughs> hey, man, keep it down. Oh, damn, that's Ernest Hemingway. Hugo's ship son. <laughs> Ernest, hey, Ernest, I know you. It's me, your neighbor. Hi. <laughs> Ernest turns back around embarrassed. I turn back to Robert. He kiss anyone yet? It turns out that, yes, he did kiss someone. He made his way out to a tiny island near Unor... You Nork, you Nork, New York, to profess his love for a woman who, for some reason, he knew would be there. She tells him that they hit the jackpot. He said that they had, but I think there's some sub subtext I'm missing here. Boo! Love is dead. Shut up! It's beautiful. Oh. Okay. No, you shut up, the little bitch boy. Ernest grumbles. The credits start to roll. I stand up. Robert immediately pulls me back down. Hundreds of people work very hard to make this film happen, and you're going to sit here and appreciate them. <laughs> oh. Okay. Look at that. Elizabeth Shelton. She worked really hard. I bet she did lots of good uh, wardrobe design. Thank you, Elizabeth Shelton, for this beautiful film-going experience. It feels like something Miguel would say. <laughs> it's kind of started, it's starting to turn into Miguel here. And Peter Anders, catering, fed a bunch of people so that they could have the energy to do their jobs. What a guy. Let the credits roll while Robert individually thanks every member of the crew. Once it's finally over, we make sure no animals are harmed in the making of this film. We leave the movie theater. <laughs> we stumble into the theater parking lot, polishing off the rest of our wine. I'm gonna assume this is Ernest. Hey, yeah. assholes! Out of nowhere, a rock flies through the air and hits me on the knee. Ow! My knee! What the hell? I need that! I need that out of up I air! Need Come on! That. I need that! Ernest and his friends stand in the alleyway, blocking our exit. So is this where he stabs me and I die? <laughs> no. Oh, what'd you guys want? Why'd you go and throw a rock at my knee? I... God damn it. This is my good knee. My orthopedist. My orthopedist. Orthopedist is gonna be pissed. Like, what, you can't up air knee anymore? Like, fucking... It's always sour spot. It's oh, I always be get... Always sour spot. always get weak knee. At least I, I guess I can gimp people. That's, that's my purpose <laughs> off stage now. Ernest tosses another rock up and down in his hands. What's wrong with this kid? You ruined my theater going experience. Now you have to pay. What the fuck? Oh, well, I don't have any cash on me right now. And like, movies got really expensive. Ernest hucks another rock in my other knee. I'm able to jump out of the way, but I didn't properly stretch before physical activity. I'm probably going to feel super sore in the morning. We ruined it for you? That movie was pretty crappy in the first place. Hey, you take that back. That was a beautiful love story with really genuine acting. Well, next time on Dream Dad, we'll see if we can genuinely act these characters out. Oh, man. 